Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Brian Umar, and today we'll be creating this uh, extension tension spring in SolidWorks, and it will be a very good uh, exercise of uh, 3D curve. And here you can see from the front view, the spring looks like this. And uh, let's change the view to let's say uh, right view, and uh, it looks like this in the right view. The hooks are perpendicular to each other. And you can see that this is the 3D curve, and this is the normal uh, 2D curve, and this is the helix. So let's start. So let's go to your new and uh, click part and click OK. And now we are in SolidWorks interface. So, first of all, I'll change my background to plain white, and uh, my units are in MMGS. So, first of all, I'll make the outer dia of this uh, spring. So let's go to here circle and uh, let's choose top plane and uh, normal to view and I'll make a circle having diameter 25 millimeters. Let's change it to 25 and uh, exit the sketch. Uh, let's rotate it. Uh, now I'll go to here features and under curves I'll choose this helix and spiral and uh, select the circle and uh, I'll choose constant pitch and I'll change this uh, constant pitch to let's say 6.5 and uh, revolutions so let's say 20.25 I have already calculated these and uh, start angle should be let's say 355 uh, let's say counterclockwise and uh, okay so helix are done and uh, let's go to here swept boss and uh, I'll choose this circular profile and I'll change this wire dia to 6 millimeters. Remember pitch was 6.5 and wire dia is 6 and click OK. So the basic uh, helix is done and uh, now the tricky step uh, is how to use a 3D curve here and uh, very important. Uh, point is uh, let's say if you can see that from right view uh, you can see that it is not uh, uh, it is not uh, perfectly aligned with the right plane right you can see that uh, uh, it is uh, coming out right it is not uh, uh, perfectly aligned with uh, right plane that's why I'm using 3d curve so uh, let's go to here sketch and uh, I'll choose this uh, 3D sketch and uh, now I will choose this spline. So first of all, I'll uh, uh, snap the center point and I'll uh, make uh, one point here and one point here. And uh, let's drag this handle to let's say along Y axis and uh, select this spline, hold shift, select this helix and make them tangent. So now you can see that uh, it is still underdefined, so let's uh, let's rotate this, and uh, I need this point to be here, right, uh, at the center of this uh, spring. So let's go to uh, right view again, and uh, let's make one line, uh, let's say uh, one center line here. And let's dimension it. Let's say this length is 142 millimeters and I'll make another line, another center line and uh, the length of this center line would be let's say 12 millimeters and uh, select this point, select this point and merge points. Now you can see that this uh, spline is turned into black which means it is fully defined. The handles are still underdefined. So Let's give them some dimensions. Let's say this handle length is 22 millimeters and uh, this handle length is 28 millimeters. Now you can see that it is fully defined and uh, I'll rotate this to let's say front view. Now you can see that this uh, spline uh, coinciding with the center line. So let's go to here features. Uh, first I'll exit this sketch. Uh, let's go to your features, swap boss, and I'll change this uh, 
circular profile to 6 millimeters and click OK. Now you can see that uh, this 3D curve is perfectly aligned with the helix. Uh, so let's complete uh, uh, the hook uh, which is uh, very simple. So let's go to your right plane again. This time I will be choosing a 2D sketch not a 3D sketch. Click here sketch and select this line. Snap this center point and I'll make one line here and uh, I'll make one arc here and one line here. So let's dimension it. This dimension was 15 and uh, the diameter was uh, let's say 24. You can make 25 as well because the wire dia was sorry the outer dia was 25 and uh, select this point select this point and make them horizontal and lastly this dimension was let's say 10 millimeters now you can see that uh, it is fully defined you can change it to let's say 25 okay uh, let's go to your features sweat boss and the circular profile and i'll change this to six millimeters and i'll choose this sketch and uh, click okay now you can see that uh, it is perfectly aligned first helix is aligned with this 3d sketch and the 3d sketch is perfectly aligned with this hook uh, we'll do same procedure at the bottom side but uh, let's say uh, let's minimize it uh, let's say uh, this hook is uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, right view of this uh, extension spring and now you can see that this hook is not uh, parallel to this hook right this hook is perpendicular to this hook so let's minimize this and uh, i'll go to here again and uh, so this hook will be uh, perpendicular to the first hook so uh, now i'll choose uh, let's say front plane not right plane so choose this front plane uh, normal to view and now i will draw the uh, 3d sketch so go to your sketch 3d sketch and uh, i'll choose spline and i'll snap the center point uh, you can see that it is not perfectly aligned with the uh, front plane you can see that so that's why i'm using 3d sketch so uh, choose this uh, so snap the center point and uh, i'll make one point here and one point here uh, select this spline hold shift select this uh, helix and make them tangent also uh, drag this handle and uh, make it along y-axis uh, now you can see that I can still drag it so let's change the view and uh, I'll choose this view and I'll drag this point to here because I want this point uh, to be uh, coincident with this center line right so let's go to here front plane again uh, sorry front view again uh, I'm drawing a 3d sketch not a 2d sketch so let's make let's say one center line here and the dimension of this center line is let's say 12 millimeters and i'll make another center line and this dimension would also 12 millimeters now select this point hold control select this point and merge entities now you can see that this spline is turned into black but these handles are still underdefined so go to your smart dimension and i'll change this to 28 also this length to be 22 okay now you can see that it is fully defined and uh, i'll change the view and uh, now you can see that it is perfectly aligned with the center line uh, which we want So uh, close this sketch and uh, now you go to your features, sweat boss, go to your circle profile, change this to 6 millimeters and select this 3D sketch and click OK. So now you can see that this 3D sketch is perfectly aligned with this helix. Lastly, uh, we want uh, this hook. So uh, we'll sketch this hook in this view. So go to your front plane. This time I will uh, uh, I'll be using a 2D sketch. Click here sketch and I'll choose this line tool. Snap this center point. I'll make one line here and I want arc. So 
uh, go back to this uh, line again and now this line will be uh, converted into an arc and one line here so let's dimension it this dimension was 15 and uh, the diameter is 25 the outer dia of the spring was 25 so let's change it to 25 and uh, this dimension was 10 now you can see that the sketch is fully defined let's go to your features sweat boss and change this to 6 millimeters and choose this sketch and click ok now you can see that helix is perfectly uh, uh, helix is perfectly aligned with this 3d sketch and this 3d sketch is perfectly aligned with this hook ok uh, now I will hide the helix and uh, let's apply some chamfer so click here chamfer and uh, I change this to let's say 0 0.2 0 0.2 mm and select this edge also select this edge and click ok uh, lastly, I will apply some uh, appearance to this extension spring. So let's go to here appearance and under appearance, uh, let's say I will go to here metals and metals. Let's apply polished bronze or maybe polished brass. That's fine. Uh, well, we can make uh, uh, this side of the spring using uh, a project curve as well and uh, all we have to do is to create a, a three point arc uh, in this view and uh, a three point arc uh, let's say in this view and uh, uh, go to here curves and uh, uh, project curve and your uh, all two sketches will be converted into uh, project curve uh, but i think uh, i have found this uh, 3d uh, uh, 3d curve uh, very easy so uh, that's it for uh, today's tutorial uh, i hope you like it and uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section 